Hey everyone, this is Dr. Brad Barlow, director of the Colt Planetarium, and in this short video I want to give you an overview of objects you can view in the night sky tonight. I'll do so using the same software we use in our planetarium, which is called Starry Night. So here we are facing the south, standing in front of the Wanak School of Natural Sciences on the left and the Cognon School of Health Sciences on the right. If I pan my view towards the left, the east, I can see the Kane Conservatory off in the distance and the Wilson School of Commerce. If we pan towards the north, I can see the Cubane School of Communication behind that large tree. And if we continue towards the west, we can see off in the distance the Stout School of Education. This software allows us to display the positions of all of the stars, constellations, planets, galaxies, and more at any time of day, on any day of the year, in any year from any location. So if I speed up time, we can watch the sun slowly set in the west, twilight set in, and all of the stars come out in the night sky exactly as they would appear from this location. The sky is divided into 88 different sections or constellations, and there are quite a few prominent ones that you'll find setting tonight in the west shortly after sunset. They include Orion the Hunter, Gemini the Twins, and Taurus the Bull. By far the brightest object you'll notice in the western sky though is not a star, but the planet Venus. Venus right now shines quite brightly as what's called the evening star. And speaking of planets, if you're an early bird, there are three more you can catch with the naked eye early, early in the morning, right before sunrise. If we accelerate time forward and pan our view towards the east, you can see a few hours before sunrise, Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars are all visible to the naked eye in a straight line low on the southeastern horizon. Mars will shine with an orangish-red color, Saturn might have a slight yellow tint to it, and Jupiter should be the brightest of the trio, shining with an overall whitish color. If you're outside for an extended period of time, you might notice a handful of shooting stars. That's because there's currently a meteor shower going on called the Lyrids. You'll notice all of the shooting stars emanating from the same point in the night sky near the constellation Lyra, which is almost directly overhead shortly before sunrise. The shooting stars you see are actually small particles of dust left behind by the comet Thatcher in the year 1861 when it passed by the inner solar system. As these particles of dust intercept the Earth moving at 30 kilometers per second, they vaporize in the atmosphere and generate the burst of light that you see. In the early morning of April 23rd, there's one last sight to be seen. We've got three planets and we've got this meteor shower going on, but we also have the International Space Station, which is passing not too far off the eastern seaboard. If you look a little bit below Mars around 5.30 a.m., you might notice a relatively bright star-looking object moving gently across the night sky at roughly the same speed as an airplane. That's not an airplane, that's not a star, that is the International Space Station. As you watch it, recognize that you're looking at a human-made object orbiting at 5 miles per second, more than 250 miles above the surface of the Earth, and that there are three living, breathing humans on board. So with that, we hope you go outside tonight and early tomorrow morning to check out all of these events in the night sky. We'd like to end by saying that the programming we offer in the Cult Planetarium is made possible through the support of alumni, families, faculty, staff, and students. So with that, as always, we hope you continue to keep looking up.